is pitching downrange. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. Power into telemetry nominal. We're just under a minute into flight. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, carrying our Starlink payloads into orbit. In just a few seconds here, we should be vehicle is supersonic. hitting max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. Vehicle is now experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. And there's the call up for Max Q. In about a minute, we have three events happening back to back. First up is main engine cutoff, also known as MECO. This is where all nine M1D engines shut off to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage Invitic separation. Engine has begun. The second event is stage separation. This is where the first and second stage will separate from one another with the first stage making its way back to Earth for a landing attempt while the second stage continues its journey with the third event, Second Engine Start 1, also known as SES-1. This is where the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will light up and propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites into orbit. Again, that is main engine cut off, followed by stage separation, then second engine start one. And the first of those events should be happening in about 20 seconds. Both views on screen right now are of the first stage. The left is from the top of the first stage, and the right is a tracking shot from the ground of Falcon 9. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. And we had successful main engine cut off, stage separation, and you can see on the right hand side of your screen the engine on the second Both stage has successfully are started up. Trajectories. Now we're expecting fairing deploy here in a couple of seconds. Fairing separation confirmed. And off come the fairing halves. That call out and the visual confirmation on your screen means that we've had successful fairing deploy. As a reminder, this was the second flight for each of the fairing halves, and we're going to be attempting to recover the fairing halves again via a wet recovery. We are at T plus three minutes and 50 seconds into flight. Now on screen is a view of the Merlin vacuum Both vehicles engine. continue to follow nominal trajectories. The Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage glowing red hot. Uh, as the second stage heads towards its drop off orbit, stage one will execute two burns in order to make its way back to Earth. The first signal Bermuda. The first is an entry burn where three of the Merlin engines will reignite and this will help to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper parts of the atmosphere. The second burn is the landing burn. This is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship. We don't currently have views of the first stage right now, but uh, as we approach the landing attempt, hopefully we'll be able to get that view back. The Merlin engines on the first stage are optimized for sea level and they can achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent and descent. The Merlin vacuum engine you see on screen is optimized for the vacuum of space. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. Producing over 220,000 pounds of thrust in a vacuum.
That first stage entry burn, again, that's the first of two burns, should be happening around the T plus six minute and 20 second mark, about a minute from now. The Starlink satellites that are on the opposite side of the second stage, uh, we're going to be putting them in low Earth orbit around 550 kilometers in altitude. Most satellites are in geostationary orbit at an altitude of about 36,000 kilometers. When satellites are farther away from Earth, the round trip data time between the user and satellite, also known as latency, is much higher, resulting in poor, poor performance for activities such as video calls and online gaming. The Starlink satellites, however, operate at over 60 times closer to Earth than traditional satellites, resulting in a much lower latency. Stage one, FTS is saved. And there's the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen. Stage one, entry burn startup. And we have successful stage one entry burn start. This burn's gonna last for about 20 seconds. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And stage one entry burn has completed. Uh, during that entry burn, you might have noticed that both vehicles uh, continue to follow nominal trajectories. Four hypersonic grid fins have deployed near the top of the first stage. Uh, the stage one uses nothing but these grid fins for steering as it makes its return back to Earth. They orient the rocket during re entry and guide the rocket during descent. The next milestone for this mission is our landing of the first stage. That's going to be happening in about 40 seconds with the entry burn starting around the T plus eight minute mark. During the entry burn, the first stage landing lights will deploy. Uh, we have four of them on Falcon 9 first stage, and they're made up of state-of-the-art carbon fiber with aluminum honeycomb. They're placed symmetrically around the base of the rocket and will deploy just prior to landing on our drone ship today. Stage one, landing burn startup. There's a view of our drone ship as Falcon 9 approaches. Stage one, landing confirm. Uh, we didn't stage quite get the video, but we guidance. did get confirmation that we did indeed land the first stage. That is the sixth for the, oh, there's the visual. Um, this is the sixth time stage for this booster. FTS is saved. And the 78th successful recovery of a Falcon 9 first stage. Uh, what a way to start off the mission today. Uh, now we're waiting on second engine cutoff of the second stage, and then shortly after that, we're expecting to hear confirmation of a good orbit. Seco. Expected loss of signal, Cape Canaveral. And we did see the second stage engine. Nominal parking orbit insertion. Shut off, and there is the confirmation we were looking for. Uh, now the second stage is going to coast in this orbit for the next 35 minutes or so. Uh, we'll leave you with two things, an animation showing you where we're at in this coast phase and some space tunes. We'll see you back here around the T plus 44 minute mark for second engine start number two. 